about four weeks ago, uh, the city of Peekskill was approached by our American Legion and told that uh, Mr. Melvin Morris would be visiting this area, and uh, we jumped at the chance, the, the mayor and our council jumped at the chance to honor you uh, for this significant achievement and all that you have done for us. And so uh, we're very excited to have you here in Peekskill with us. And for the rest of you, I'm just going to read you um, about the uh, specific reasons why Melvin Morris was selected by President Obama in 2014 for a Medal of Honor. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Staff Sergeant Melvin Morris distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving as commander of a strike force drawn from Company D 5th Special Forces Group Airborne, 1st Special Forces, during combat operations against an armed enemy in the vicinity of Chi Lang, Republic of Vietnam, on September 17, 1969. You know, it's such an honor and privilege to be uh, recognized uh, by everyone. Uh, you know, to make it short, receiving the mail, I don't really hope anything. <laughs> I've already paid, but in my mind, I tell, I tell myself that you have a platform that you can use to benefit others, especially our youth. And so what I did, I made a decision uh, immediately that I was going to get out and work and work and work. Don't have to do it, don't need to do it, but I'm driven because I see the ports of our youth. And so I'm going to say, stay. I got what, four or five more days to go, and I'll have them all. <laughs> and then I'll start over again. <laughs> because it's just that important to me. It's that important. I don't know how many schools I've been to, but I know in eight years, I've had done over 100 events. And normally we've gone like 10, 11, 12 times a year. It gets hard, it gets tough. But you're driven because I know the ports, so what I'm doing is very important. Yeah. And you know, coming to New York for the first response, I established a legacy that would never be put down. People that did what they're supposed to do. We can't do the same. You're in the military, we'll talk to do what we're supposed to do. When things get bad, you try again and you take care of it. And that's what people did in New York. And I appreciate that, but that drives me also. For me to do what I have to do, and I do it. I don't complain, and I don't cry about it, and don't talk about it. Just go to work. And that's what I do. And pray that I have strength to continue. So this is why I'm here. It's such an honor. And now uh, it's my pleasure to ask uh, former U.S. Representative Joe Diagordi to come up and uh, speak. Thank you. You know, if you heard the words carefully from around me, he used the word inspired. He is doing something by Going around the country, I don't know how many states he's been to, but he said he thinks he's got a few more to go, and he's got to do it again, because he wants to inspire young Americans about what this country stands for and why he served so bravely. And I've come to know that probably more than anybody, because by accident, when I was elected a congressman in the city of Mount Vernon, or in that district, that included the whole part of Westchester County. I didn't know enough about this. I was raised in the Bronx, middle class family, and had a good education. My parents came here in 1929 looking for jobs. I was not born until 1940. And it's amazing that I would find out after having a great Jesuit education, 
mental support. So the point is, I had to go to him to get his help, but he needed my help for something. And when I gave it to him, I didn't know I was going to need him for a, a medal of honor for a guy from New York, Henry Johnson, Albany. And it took 20 years for Barack Obama to get that message and we got that medal. I just wanted to give that introduction because when you think of Melvin Mars, think about the fact that 4,500 people got the Medal of Honor. That's all. But only 77 African Americans got the Medal of Honor since it started in the Civil War. Think about that. So what makes him famous is not only the Medal of Honor, he's only one of 77 African Americans that got the Medal of Honor. Why don't we give him a hand for that? I've said enough. If you want to see the backstory, it's in the book that you have. And I'm going to continue working. We've got one more to go before I pass on, and that's Dory Miller, World War II, Pearl Harbor. And we're working on that one with Mickey Leland, who, by the way, died two years after we started. He died, Mickey Leland, this great black American who was chairman of the Congressional Caucus, started the first hunger committee. He died in a plane delivering food and medicine to Ethiopia. 1989. And the anniversary of that death is tomorrow on Sunday, 33 years ago. So remember him as a hero as well. God bless you all for coming. Next we have from the city of Peekskill, our mayor, Mayor Vivian We are honored and so pleased to be able to be here today to present this proclamation to you. The city of Peekskill is above honored to have this young man here with us today to share in all that he has done and so that we can learn about the things that he has done. So I'm not gonna read this whole uh, proclamation, but I do wanna state that, whereas while under continuous heavy enemy fire, two of his men were immediately wounded. Staff Sergeant Morris brought them to a safe position and continued his pursuit of his fallen comrades, destroying four bunkers with hand grenades and succeeded in retrieving his fellow commander to friendly territory, all while being wounded himself in three places, thus earning him three Purple Hearts medals. This is a man who has fought for his country and for each and every one of us, and it is important for him to continue to go out and speak his word and truth. And we commend you and we thank you and thank you again for coming to Peace Go.